This is a walkthrough of how to host and participate in Zoom breakout rooms. The video on the site gives a very good overview, but this is a video to accompany screenshots I've taken from that video so that I've got some quick reference and it brings together both the host and the participant experience. Let's start first of all by seeing what you have to do as a host. Note that there'll be slight differences according to your device. So you look onto the site and by clicking on the device that you use, you'll get more information. But this is really showing you what is possible. Before you launch the meeting, it's essential that you allow four breakout rooms. You go to settings, you select meeting, then you scroll a long way down to the breakout room. Then you click the button to turn it blue and you say that you're going to allow the host to assign participants to breakout rooms. Once the meeting has started, only the host and co-host can see the icon for breakout rooms at the bottom. Click on the icon to get the pop-out box. As you can see, you then have a choice between assigning automatically or manually. In this particular example, the six participants are going to be divided into two rooms with three per room. The host is not one of the participants. You would then click on create the breakout rooms. The groups are automatically generated, but it could be that you'd like to make some changes. For example, it may be that you want to swap Michael with Danny. For that, you would first of all click on exchange next to Michael. Then you see the three possible names with whom you'd like to exchange him. And say you want to choose Danny, you would click and then you can see that they have been exchanged. You can then see everybody join. If they are in bold, it means they've already joined the room. And if they're not, it says not joined and they'll still be with you in the main room. The host or co-host can hop between the rooms by clicking on the word join. Wherever the host is, whether in the main room or in the breakout rooms, they have the choice of being able to broadcast to all rooms. You would click on broadcast and then you could write a message. This is a clearer explanation here that you would click on the breakout rooms in the meeting controls, click broadcast message to all, put your message and click broadcast. The message then appears in every breakout room for all participants. Participants can join the main room whenever they like, but it could be that you want to deliberately call everyone back at a particular time, in which case you would click on close all rooms and then they would see a countdown um, according to what you've set. Typically, you would set a minute and there'll be a countdown so they know how long they've got before they will be pushed back into the main room. Once back in the room, it may be that after a while you'd like to open up the same breakout rooms again, in which case you could select that as open all rooms. There are further options available for the breakout rooms. Click on options. Here's the pop out. You can move participants into breakout rooms automatically. That would be useful if they're not used to the process, I suppose, and you want to speed things up. You can decide whether or not you let people back into the main session at any time. I suppose you might uncheck that if you're doing a separate activity in the main session and you don't want it to be interrupted. You can decide if you want to close them automatically after a certain amount of time. And the default is the countdown for 60 seconds, but you could allow longer or shorter, whatever you want, really. If you want to, you can pre-assign the groups. For that, you have to go to your browser, click on meetings and then scroll down to edit meeting and with in edit meeting if you go down to breakout rooms pre-assign you can then create the rooms and you can import the list of people who you are expecting to come. So now what about the participant view? Again there is a very very good page on the Zoom to be able to tell you about being a participant and in particular I would suggest you go and check for your device so you know what it's all going to look like. The first thing that will happen will be you'll receive this message telling you you've been assigned to a breakout room and you have to click to join that breakout room. You'll see a message telling you that it might take a few minutes and then you will be in the room. Once in the room, you can click on a question mark to get help. Um, you can invite the host to your breakout room for assistance. 
from the host point of view, this is what you will get. You'll get a message telling you that you, you have been asked for help and that you can join the breakout room. Once in the group, it could be that you want to record something. If you want to record something, you must ask the host for permission. So you would invite the host into your, into your breakout room. The host would select your name from the participant list and click on allow record. When in the breakout room, there'll always be the option of leaving it. You can click leave the breakout room and then you can choose whether you want to leave the room or the entire meeting. Thanks, I hope that was helpful.